Toppling trees and downed hydro lines leaving thousands without power tonight and adding to the already massive list of issues this mid-April storm has caused for residents across the GTA. The icy roads and snow buildup turning into some serious flooding in some areas. Good evening, I'm Natish Bassano, and we begin tonight in East York. I'm near Woodbine and Mortimer Avenue, and these are the scenes that we've been seeing all day here. I'm just going to try to navigate through here. This tree coming toppling down, falling on top of this truck here. As you can see, the back window completely gone. This tree actually comes from... It's, a, it's part of this tree over here, as you can see, quite the extensive damage. And then further down here, we have hydro workers uh, doing their best uh, to restore power in some areas where the lines have been knocked down. So as you can imagine, this storm causing, causing quite the havoc for many residents. Holy <laughs> the tree just fell in. City news cameras capturing the moment a tree falls in East York at Glebemount Avenue and Barker. The strong winds bringing down another near St. Clair and Glenfield around the same time. And over on Eastbourne Crescent and Simmons Street, a close call for one family when their century-old tree came toppling down. Ooh, the tree cracked, and my, my father's the one who heard it, and he told everybody to get to the back of the house. He knew it must be this tree, because it's, it's big, it's old. We never thought it'd come down, but it appears it eventually did. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but the same can't be said about the house and the four cars in the driveway. The city of Toronto wasting no time issuing a wind warning, with gusts clocking up to 100 kilometers per hour at times making for some spectacular waves off the shore of Lake Ontario. How powerful these winds are. All you have to do is head here. Strong winds leaving thousands without power over the course of the day. Hydro One was especially busy. This weather has re resulted in significant damage, including broken poles, down lines, and fallen trees. Currently in the province, there are 37,215 Hydro One customers without power across southwestern and south-central Ontario. Now, before going to Air Toronto Hydro, telling City News that nearly 20,000 are still without power, which means crews will be very busy well into the overnight and tomorrow morning. In East York, I'm Natish Bassano, City News.